Okay, now we are on the next step to assemble the motor mounts. Remember the motor mounts will be mounted according to this layout. Okay, this means this is your forward section. As you can see the motor mounts are curved. Okay, so the forward section will be curved forward, the rear section will be curved at the rear of the quadcopter and installing them is simply easier however uh, in order to make sure that this claw is installed right in a way that when the quad touches the ground it skids rather than catching the ground okay so for this you have to take care that means if this is your front motor mount your claw is gonna stay this way sure you can follow it now so this will skid in case quad touches to the ground so making sure all these claws are installed right you can easily mount you can easily use the other piece and install these onto the arms so basically you install this and then motor mount on top and using the supplied screws just tighten them similarly you have more of these brackets or clamps which will fit on the rear of the motor mount so this will be closer to the frame and of course it's very very simple just form one bracket circle and install them onto the arm under the motor mount so let's prepare the motor mount and then we will just simply install it Okay, so I have just prepared one of the motor mounts installing these pieces inside, okay. Now it's ready to slide on to the front arm. So make sure as this is the front side, the motor mount curved to the front and the claw curved to the back. Similarly, when we install the other one, you can see it's curved forward and the claw will be curved backward totally opposite to the front motor mount. When it comes to installing the motor mounts on the rear, you can see the motor mount will curve to the rear while the claw will also curve to the rear in order to let the quad skid on the ground. If you mount the rear claw this way, this is totally wrong. Okay, this will, it will grab the ground rather than skidding on the ground. So, rear mount, motor mount, curved backward, claw, curved backward. Front motor mount, curved forward, claw, curved backward. Using this method, you can prepare all these motor mounts and put them onto the arms, arm tubes, but do not tighten the screws yet. All the motor mounts are assembled and installed but as you can see I didn't tighten the screws once again notice how the claws are pointing backwards so that quad can slide if it touches the ground okay now before we go ahead and tighten these screws let me describe some very important steps all right here are the uh, most important steps that now you need to take care about and now you need to carry them out first thing first when tightening the screws okay don't tighten the screws now, don't tighten the motor mounts now. One thing you need to see that as I described before, the arms uh, coming out from left and right of the frame should be equal length. But somehow the length is not perfectly equal, okay? However, when you install the motor mounts, what you need to do is measure, okay? And make sure that the distance between the edge of the motor mount to the edge of the metal lock is going to match left and right the same way. So for instance, 
um, let me zoom in so we can see it clearly so what you need to do is make sure that the distance from the edge of the motor mount to the edge of the metal lock ring is same at both sides so this side I can still pull the motor mount out a bit to make it about 1 cm all right now we come to the right side and we have to do the same thing move the motor mount and make sure that the distance from the edge of the motor mount to the edge of the locking ring is the same so 1 cm here 1 cm here so on the front and rear arms you have to make sure this distance is equal otherwise there's a possibility that one side of the motor mounts are wider means going outward more compared to the other side and you will not have better flight performance so in order to make sure to have a good flight performance this distance should be equal at front and rear motor mounts equally installed on the arms so for the next step we need to power on the servo okay and make sure it's centered once it's centered we will mount uh, once it's centered we will install the servo arm perfectly perpendicular or vertical to the frame and keeping it there we will make sure that all these motor mounts are perfectly leveled horizontally leveled to the frame if one of this motor mount is not perfectly leveled you are going to have some yaw issues unwanted yaw issues or your quadcopter will not fly perfectly so once again one two three four all these motor mounts must be perfectly horizontal and leveled to the frame and then you can tighten the screws on that and during this whole time we need to make sure servo is on powered on and it's centered to make this job easier you can purchase the assembly stand from my site or our dealers site and assemble the stand once the stand is assembled all you need to do is put the quad on top and all all these arms and motor mounts will be perfectly leveled horizontally leveled and all you need to do is turn the servo on center the servo level the motor mounts and tighten the screws immediately making sure this distance is equal so let us assemble the assembly stand then we will go to the next step and level all the arm horizontally with the servo on we need to have these curved we need to have this uh, half circle cut pieces in the center and the full pieces all the way to the right we will have to glue them first thing we need to do is glue them right and then um, I believe there's a little bit of mistake uh, these pieces are supposed to be longer but they are a little bit shorter this time however this is very easy we just need to increase the cut we just need to cut these areas more in order to let these uh, these claws sit in them and the quad will sit nicely on it and then we can easily balance all the motor mounts so let me prepare this and I will show it to you how it goes all right now you can see the assembly stand is ready I had to cut this uh, rectangle into a square so that the arms can fit because this was designed so that uh, your motor mounts are all the way in and then the quad sits here so the motor motor mounts all the way in and then the quad sits on top of it but in that case you can use only five inch propellers uh, just like you can see on the rear here okay let me bring it this way so you can see motor uh, mounts sitting here and the claws are down there so why I cut this uh, square uh, make it bigger this rectangle because I want to use six inch propellers and for that you have to move the motor mounts outwards on the arm and then let it sit on the assembly stand press it down making sure here this distance and this distance is equal okay once again this distance between motor mount and the lock is equal at left and right side 
and also make sure your servo is centered and the servo arm is perpendicular, uh, vertically perpendicular uh, to the frame. So for that, we will have to turn the power on to the servo and then you're going to tighten the screws. So let's power on the servo using the servo tester. If you don't have a servo tester, feel free to connect CC3D and the receiver and the servo to your receiver and then power on. Everything works actually the same way.